Well, we're finally into the woods. The driver. This is the one that you really need that distance and that accuracy on. It's the longest club in the bag and it's swung with the most miles per hour, but yet it's the most difficult to keep on line because we don't have much loft. And you know, with less loft, you get a lot more spin on the ball. You want a balanced swing. You want that thing to just go back and through in a nice tempo way and stay away from hitting at the ball. That's a no-no. Focus on tempo with the driver. Feel like you're swinging that tempo ball. And when you go out to practice, take your tempo ball to the practice tee with you. Practice and feel like you've got a driver in your hand. Back and through, do some nice repetitions, and then always use your ruler. Lay it down, set it up down your practice area, and work with it. You've got to get that ball in the correct position with the driver. So take your time when you work with your woods. Get it lined up on your little ruler, set into the ball, feel like you're swinging the tempo ball, just back and through. Now, you don't want to have a lot of pressure on you when you're playing the driver. A lot of people get tense because they're on that first tee and the people in the clubhouse are looking at them or they come up on the next tee. Some people are waiting there and they've got to get up and stand in front of people. So you want to take that tension out of your swing with the driver by relaxing your shoulders. When you set up, take a deep breath, relax your shoulders. That'll get you into where you can make a nice, backwards and forwards swing through the ball. With a driver, it's a sweeping type shot. I like to think about it's like on both sides of the ball, it's like an airplane taking off. It's on a nice backwards and a shallow motion. Back and through. Now you're probably wondering what I've got this little board for. If you have trouble with the driver, take a piece of cardboard out or a little piece of plywood like this, make it on a little tilt and practice with it. And it'll give you that feeling of making a sweeping motion through the ball, sending it, driving it on down the fairway. Just back and through. Boy, booming them today. You want to have a good waggle. As you set up for that driver, feel that circular motion. Don't get frozen over the ball. Keep it moving, stay nice and relaxed, back and through. Now you can do the same thing if you want to use your sponge. You just simply tee a ball up behind it, just as we did with the board, and that gives you that nice sweeping motion. And we're going to sweep this ball just right up over the top of the sponge, and it's going to give us that nice sweeping motion. Now the driver does have loft on it. But the other thing you do have is you do have the ball up on a tee, so you shouldn't need to, you don't want to try to loft it up in the air. When you tee up your driver, you can get little balls like this, it's great. You want to tee it up so that the top line of the driver goes right into the equator of the ball. So let me demonstrate that. Just set it down, and when you set the club behind it, it should be right about at the top line of the driver. So you don't want to get it up too high or get it way down too low. Just about there. And then another thing that's important is I recommend you don't put the club head down on the ground and start from a static position. One of the greatest players of all time, Jack Nicklaus, starts with the club waggling just up above the ball. Then it's a nice smooth takeaway back and through. One other thing that will help you feel that sweeping motion is to try to tee up a ball on a pencil. Or I use high tees with my students, like this one, which definitely gives you a nice sweeping motion. And that's the power motion. That's probably 280. Remember to stay balanced. Coil when you make your swing. And if you have trouble putting that ball into the fairway, don't be afraid to take a three wood out. A three wood has a little bit more loft, but it has a little more weight down in the sole. And you'll have a tendency to get that ball up there and keep it in play. 
Remember, the more loft you have on a club, the less spin is put on the ball. And when you're playing this Innisbrook course, you can see how tight it is out there. I would probably use a lot of three woods during my rounds. Here we go, back and through. We'll ought to do that every time. When you're out on that first tee, we talked a lot about swinging inside out, having the swing line and the target line merge. A good way to get that focus is when you tee your ball up on the golf course, take the label, like in this instance the Titleist, and simply put it behind, then turn it a little clockwise, and then that's your focus. You want to swing through the Titleist and around to our toe up position. Keep that circle going, keep it sweeping, all the way through, back and through. Look at that nice draw. I mean, that ball is hot. Lastly, keep your chin up. I see this all the time in pro-ams. Guys get up on that tee, they see all that trouble out there which they shouldn't be seeing. They set up and then they get tight and the more tighter they get, the more tense they get. They've got to keep their chin up Keep your chin up so you can turn underneath it and make that nice tempo swing up to the top. And keep your shoulders relaxed. Remember in the grip section I talked about the tension is in the grip because the shoulders are tight. So with the driver more than any club, really relax those shoulders. Waggle and let it happen. This is really going to improve your driving, let me tell you.